Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that all of you are doing great. So in today's video, we are continuing on the trade breakdown series with a trade that I took actually two days ago on Euro USD. So before we start, as always, if you could just please leave a like under the video, I would truly appreciate it. So let's not waste more time and jump right into it. So as I said, we are taking a look at a trade that I took two days ago on Euro USD and that ended up as a good trade. So here is the profit that I made that I posted on my Instagram as well. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that just right here. But basically that was a really good trade. It ended up taking my um, take profit that I set up. I will show you guys later when we jump on the chart, but that was a good trade that ended up in positive. So if you have been following my YouTube channel this past week, basically, well, you see that this is the third trade breakdown video of the week. I, I had a really good week, basically, uh, well, the week that just ended because as I'm recording this right now, we are Friday night. So I had an amazing week. Basically, all my trades pretty much ended up as uh, amazing trades and they all went the way I expected them to go. Or I also took some break even trades. Uh, but overall, the week was incredible. So to get back to the trade in itself, that was a short term trade on Euro USD. I did not really have any long term perspective on that trade. I just saw a short term potential setup, which I took, and that is what we will see on the chart right now. So let's not waste more time and jump into my screen to see that trade. Okay, so we are now on my chart. Let's take a look at this Euro USD trade. So, as always, let's start with the big picture. So on the daily, what we have on Euro USD is this main impulse. We have this correction. We have another impulse here, and we are probably just making a correction here for a uh, downside continuation. That's my perspective right now that I have on Euro USD on the long term. Now, like I said before, this trade was a short term trade. So there's really nothing on the long term that is that important to know about the trade. So let's go now on the lower time frame. And take a look at what we have here. So basically on the four hour what we can see, uh, let me just grab my tool. So what we can see on the four hour is like I said we have this impulse coming down and we probably have something that is in the making which is one, two, and all of this is also probably in the second wave. So I will not be surprised to see something like this here and then come back up and then come back down. Once again, there are many reasons why that is a very likely possibility to happen. Here, I'm just trying to give you guys, uh, you know, the main things to look for. If you would like to get more serious about trading, work with me as well and just, you know, learn this skill from me directly. Just check out the first link in the description box below and it will bring you over to my website, which is my trading course. So anyway, to get back to the chart in itself and what I was talking about, we are probably just making a big correction here. That means that I think the price will stay around that area for a uh, certain period of time. So when we go on the lower time frame, let's go on the one hour and I will show you guys the setup in itself. So on the one hour, what we had is, like I said, this first wave, we have this down move. I said that this was probably not all, you know, the second wave and we would extend into a bigger wave, which is what we did. So this week, the market opened around these levels here and we did not have any trade setup at the opening of the week. After that, what it did, well, we got this downside, we got this upside and we got another downside. Once we got around these levels here, I started looking for a potential buy setup because at that point we had this impulse, one, two, three, reverse. That is one type of correction that we have here. We have a three wave pattern. Um, so I was starting to look for a correction here and basically the end of that correction, which means that eventually we will see this one more up here happening. So after that, when I had this in mind and this potential trade setup that I was looking for, well, I just waited for, you know, a trade setup, like I just said. So we have this impulse. We got this one, two, three wave correction here once again. We have this impulse here, the correction here. And when we broke out, well, I simply took the trade, right? So that was my entry. My stop, my first stop initially was under this low right here. Uh, we had other possibilities. So that was a possibility. 
this one or this one it could have been here as well here as well we had many possibilities of where we could put our stop even here that was a possibility so it just depends now you know on the start of trading of each trader and how you're looking to end all that trade i'll not go further into you know details like that but it basically depends on every trader it's not certainly about what is right or wrong it depends on your view of the trade in itself so that was the entry my stop was here and my target well as you guys know i don't place any take profits normally i say normally because that time i placed a take profit and i will explain why i did that i normally don't do that basically like 90 percent of my trades don't have a take profit and there are many reasons for that. It comes back to my strategy and how I trade a chart, but I basically never place any take profits. This time it was different. Uh, I placed a take profit not when I took the trade. I placed it a little uh, later as well. So we got this impulse here. We got this first nice wave up uh, here and then it came back pretty deep as well. So I started being careful when we got around those levels because we had a possibility of a potential reversal. But after what we saw is that this was also just making a correction here and that eventually we would break upside. Now, the big question is, why did I place a take profit? And by the way, let me just show you guys where I took my profit, where I exited the trade. It was right here. My take profit was exactly there. And after you see that it reversed. Um, so that was the perfect place to uh, take my profit. Once again, I don't think I could have managed that trade any better. I think that it was a perfect execution. Once again, uh, if you watch the last video or, you know, the, the one before the last one, I know I say that. And once again, I don't say that to sound, you know, narcissistic or egocentric or whatever. Like, it's just the truth. Like, when you look at a trade, uh, well, a perfect execution is basically when you have a good entry, when you have a good stop, a good target, and everything basically plays out the way you want it to play out, which is what happened here. So we got this uh, correction, we got this breakout here, and when we broke out of uh, this stop right here, this is when I took my profit. And there were a very specific reason for that take profit. Uh, and that reason is that when we break this stop, we have a likely possibility of seeing this downside happening. I'll not go into details of why that is, but basically, uh, just to give you guys some, you know, some clue, um, when we break out of this stop right here in that specific scenario, we have this pattern that is likely going to be over, which means that we are likely now to see the next downside inside that pattern and inside the main one that we have right here so that is basically the overall view of the trade and beside that uh there were nothing really more complex than that once again it really comes back to you know just understanding those market and understanding what you're looking for understanding what you're seeing on the charts uh a lot of people think that they know what you know the and and they know that or i should say they think that they're right they think that they understand what is happening. They think that, you know, their analysis is good and all of those things. But when you dig down into uh, them and, you know, the way they see the charts, well, you start to realize that, okay, no, maybe that person does not really get it. And it, it really comes back to just understanding that it takes a long time to learn. Um, once again, for me, it took a long time. But you see that now it's paying off very well. Um, I've had a, an amazing week, even a, an amazing last month. If you look back into the trade breakdown videos, you'll see that the last month was amazing for me uh, on the side of trading. Uh, and, you know, it just comes back with experience, knowledge and skill. Um, so to basically just sum it up because I could talk like this forever and I don't want to take too much of your time, guys. And I want to give you guys, <coughs> sorry as much value as possible uh, when I do these videos. So to sum it up, the overall view of the market was what then when we broke out of here with this little flag, we will see one more up here at least breaking this stop. So that was my entry. My stop was under this first low after I move it up here when we actually finish this correction here. And I placed a take profit when we actually broke out of here. Well, not when we broke out, but after the breakout, my take profit was hit basically right here at the top. And now what we can expect is probably a reversal happening for the upcoming week. So that's it for the trade breakdown on Euro USD. I hope that you guys also learn a lot of things because I try to give you guys some more information that I normally do. Um, so yeah, that was a trade breakdown for Euro USD.
So that's pretty much it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching once again, I hope that it helped you and that you like it. If you did, please share it around you with other people and with your friends who are also trading, because if it helps you, then it's likely going to help another person, alright? So thank you so much for watching, take care, trade with care, manage your money well, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!